All right, plastic surgery is a pretty big deal if you're going that route in your life. You figure I need this procedure or whatever. Mm -hmm. So then it comes down to the doctor, which is a very big deal. And joining us with some wonderful advice that you should follow is Dr. Stephen Goldman, who is a plastic surgeon. Thank you so much, <laughs> Doc. Would have it. Seems like a very good person to get the advice from. No, this is what? this could be either a minor procedure or a pretty major procedure. So sure. they have There's to do spectrum. their due diligence and homework. do a lot of their research and their homework. Sure. What, what should people start looking for when they're looking for a plastic surgeon? All right, so I, I would say there are four things to look for. The first is to find out if the doctor is board certified in plastic surgery. All right, the second would be to see if the doctor has a website. Not all doctors do, but if they do, it gives you useful information about where they trained, about the procedures they perform. The before and after pictures. Before well. and after pictures are really useful and, and actually I think very important in making that decision. The third thing is actually relatively new, really over the last year or so, social media yep. rating sites. Now some of them, you know, you have to if, take all that information with a grain of salt, mm -hmm. but the rating sites are now useful. And the fourth thing would basically uh, be to, you know, go in and have a consultation and actually meet the doctor and see if what they said makes sense, if they're listening to you, if they have a good sense of what your goals are. Yeah, so when you get to that point and you make the appointment, what, what should you expect? If this is your so it's first just, it's, experience. It's still a medical visit, so there should be, you know, uh, an assessment of somebody's medical status, their past medical history, but also assessment of your goals. So if somebody's interested in something surgical versus non-surgical, facial versus body, mm -hmm. uh, making sure they're a good candidate in terms of their health, in terms of their goals, in terms of their physical status, and then making sure there's a reasonable, rational plan that can meet those goals with a reasonable probability of success. Yeah, every patient, no matter what visit they have with a the doctor, they should have questions of their own. For sure. So, you know, what kind of questions would you recommend them asking a doctor? Well, I mean, so first of all, they can ask the doctor specifics about what procedures are possible, so what the options are, mm -hmm. surgical, non-surgical, so if it's something like a facelift, all right, well, are there non-surgical options? What's the difference between a laser, between Botox, between filler injections, right. and something surgical, it's like a facelift. Um, and then the, the doctor's opinion as to what is best and why. And so patients will sometimes see more than one physician, and there may be differences, and they'll have a very good sense of for themselves what's most appealing and what makes the most sense and if something doesn't make sense they need to ask the doctor you know why it doesn't right. make sense yeah well spring has sprung and yep. we are thinking about bathing suits and nicer weather and things like that so maybe these love handles have gotten right over yeah. the winter. thinking tummy tuck yeah. and those kinds of procedures what kind of a time frame for those that are thinking yeah. these things now Great like, what are we looking at from start to finish right, so recovery it time and all it depends on the procedure right so something like liposuction the main issue would be bruising right if somebody wanted to put a swimsuit on so you really need something like a three weeks to let the bruising go away but the end result because of swelling and skin tightening might be three months away so that doesn't mean they can't be in a swimsuit a month later but it does mean they won't have their final result if they do it in June and they're out in July mm -hmm. other things breast augmentation I've had patients who do the surgery and in a week are in a swimsuit but that's not necessarily typical so you have to ha know what the range of possibilities in terms of recovery is and it depends a lot upon what specific procedure is being done and it also depends on sense. the person the I person. would think the yeah. The way they heal, their sure. pain threshold, and how vain they are. I mean, to, the to be there's quite some honest, people right? who are runners, and they will be, you know, they'll be out for a run. You know, we'll be holding them back two weeks after surgery on the dot. They'll go for a run. There are other people who have a little more pain and and take a little longer to move, and you know, you have to help them through that. Okay. Great advice. Thank, Thank you. you so much for coming on the show. Do your homework. Do your homework. Meet the doctor. Homework. Make sure you like the doctor. Everyone out there, Beachwood Plastic Surgery and Medical Spa, 216-514-8899, or go to his website, drgoldman.com, for more information. All right, when we come back, comedian Sebastian Maniscalco is live in studio. Okay, and then we've got banana drinks to enjoy by Market. We're talking banana bread beer, cocktails, and more. And then... This is 40. Speaking of plastic surgeries, everyone wants it after 40. Your chance to win the DVD coming up a little bit later. This segment of Live on Lakeside is sponsored by Beachwood Plastic Surgery.